All right, so I just unboxed the Steam Deck for the first time, and the piece of paper that came with it said to plug it in, so I plugged it in, and it already has a bit of a charge. It looks like it's almost fully charged, actually. But uh, I thought it'd be fun to not just do the unboxing, but to do a little bit of a limited series with the Steam Deck, showing the procedure of booting it on for the first time. Uh, and, you know, depending on what you guys are interested in, if you'd like to see me do various things with emulation or setting up uh, different games on it outside of the default Steam verified games that we know that are running currently, um, let me know down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to make videos like that for you guys. Uh, but to start, we're just going to go through the startup procedure. So. This is the first thing I saw when I plugged it in. As you can see, it's cycling through various languages saying welcome and uh, it gives you the option of selecting different languages here. So I don't want to mess this up and accidentally press something I shouldn't be pressing. So let's select English. And we're on the West Coast, so that looks right. Pacific Standard Time. While I'm doing this, I realized that I actually need to whitelist this on my router. So this isn't going to connect to start, but that's okay. You can already hear the fan on the Steam Deck start up. It's probably not the best idea that I'm running it in the case here. So let's get the case out of the way. The case is nice and sturdy though, which is really cool. Um, fan isn't too loud. Don't know if you can catch that on the mic or not. It's pretty quiet. So as I expected, it's not going to connect uh, because the deck is not whitelisted yet on my router and that's okay. Uh, let's see if we can skip this. Can we skip this? Let's actually turn off my security features on the router temporarily so I can connect. That's done. Let's hit connect. Looks like we're connected to my router. I think it's going to do a system update by the looks of it. 45 seconds remaining. Now it's two minutes and 55 seconds. That's okay though. The magic of editing will skip through past all this and I'll meet you on the other side. So it looks like it's done its update. It's shutting down Steam. It was really fast for it to reboot. There's the logo again. Made a sound. That was cool. That was the thing. That was the thing that happened. It's bothering me a little bit that my USB-C jack is like on a weird angle. Not sure what the deal is with that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and we're back at the, at the startup screen. Uh, so I guess it updated the system. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to have to do this every single time, but let's go back through it. English, UTC 8. I can use the D-pad to select what I want. Can I use this? Can't use the touchpad. I assume I can scroll through. So once we're connected to the internet, uh, it's asking for Steam account. So I'm going to put that in. Looks like it is loading my user data for my account. Welcome to Steam Deck. Before you start playing, let's take a quick tour of the device. Press any button or tap the screen to continue. Let's press A. This is the Steam button down here. Press to access your library, store, settings, and more. Press and hold to view Steam button shortcuts. Okay. This is a quick access button. Press to quickly view your notifications, friends list, quick settings, and more. Up here is the power button. We saw that when we took it out of the box, right beside the LED there. Press once to suspend or resume Steam Deck. Press and hold to access the power menu. Over here are the volume buttons. Press or hold to adjust the Steam Deck's volume. That's really cool. Looks like we have a 
headphone jack port there. Last of all, down below is the micro SD card slot. Expand your deck storage capacity by inserting and formatting a micro SD card. Push the card in to eject. And that's on the bottom, of course, down here. This is a 256 gigabyte model. Not sure if I'm going to need a card right away, but we'll see. Have fun. We hope you enjoy your Steam Deck. If you'd like to see this tour again, you can access it from Quick Access Menu, Help Replay Tour, Replay Guided Tour. Press any button or tap the screen to continue. Looks like there is a software update. Uh, that's probably going to be one of the first things that you want to do. I thought that that's what it was doing when it uh, started up the first time when we rebooted, but let's, oops, let's hit apply and see what it says. System update, congrats. You got one of the first Steam Decks off the factory floor. That's really cool. Uh, this being the case, the system software, specifically Steam Deck's BIOS requires an update. This update will take place on a technical looking sideways screen, but don't worry, this is completely normal. Just let it do its thing and you'll be on your way to an improved Steam Deck experience. Future updates won't look like this. Well, that sounds good. Let's do that. Well, that was super fast. It's shutting down Steam. I guess that's the BIOS update. Or maybe it's rebooting into uh, an update. Oh yeah, check this out. So this is the, please do not remove the AC power. Of course, we're not gonna do that. Um, this is really cool. The uh, firmware flasher tool. Version 200.02.00.02, .02. copyright 2021, inside software corp, all rights reserved. So the current uh, BIOS model name is the same as the new one. The current BIOS version is F7A0100. The new image version is F7A0105. So I guess this is the fifth iteration of it. And on the bottom, you can see it's updating the blocks and flash memory. We're just a little over 25%. Oh, up to 50, halfway there, 46% right there. It's moving pretty quickly. It's not gonna take long. And uh, we'll be right back into Steam OS, I guess. Lots of glare from the screen. Of course, this is not the top model. Uh, I didn't think paying for the etched glass was really worth it. Uh, I did buy some screen protectors. I'm gonna have another video showing how to apply the screen protectors onto the Steam Deck. Uh, so keep an eye open for that. That might actually be in this playlist. You can check the side if that is relevant to you. Um, they're just, they're glossy screen protectors the one I picked up. At some point, I'm probably going to pick up uh, the, the non-glossy ones, which would be nice because reflections drive me crazy and are super distracting. So that's done. We're just waiting for it to reboot which I just made a little sound. Probably gonna see the Steam logo in a moment. Fan picked up and then it shut off. Just made a noise again. I guess it's gonna, yep, it's rebooting, which is exactly what we expect it to do. So this is a new screen. Uh, it says extracting package, installing update. So we're probably gonna see this do its thing. Update complete, launching Steam. That was super fast. Has a, a loading bar here, but I think it's a loading bar, but it didn't do anything. Maybe it's just a bar. Checking for available updates. Fatal error, that does not sound good. 